Hi everyone! Welcome to our day 5 of Intercede Daily. I hope you're all doing well. You're all healthy as well. I don't know what's going on with you and your family, but I really pray that all of you are safe. And uh, you know, this, this Intercede Daily is such a blessing to all of us because we can join our hearts together, we can pray for our country, pray for one another, lift up our concerns to our Lord, and we know that He cares and He uh, loves us dearly. And in this Intercede Daily, we also look at different passages. And that's why today, we are going to read Psalm 46 verse 1 and study that together. So our passage is Psalm 46 verse 1. So it says here, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. You know, while I was studying this passage, I realized three things. It's really uh, exact in what's happening in our situation right now. It fits into what's happening in our situation right now. Because we need Him. He's our strength. He's our refuge. So three things that I realized. Number one, security is in the Lord. When I say security is in the Lord, there is absolute security in Him. You know why? Because look at what the passage says. God is our refuge. When you say refuge, He is our fortress. He is our security. He is our stronghold, our foundation. And if God is your foundation, your fortress, nothing can harm you. I'm not saying there's not, there's no, there's not going to be any more problems. I'm not saying you're not going to get sick anymore. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is regardless of what happens in your life or in my life, as long as we are inside God, His for Him being our fortress, Him being our stronghold, there is absolute security. You see, we, li we live in a world right now that is a lot of people are insecure because we tend to focus or to put our security on people. We tend to put our security on things. We tend to put our security on success, on material possession, on money, on comfort, on solutions to problems we tend to put our security there but all of those things will not give give us absolute security that's why god is saying that he is our refuge he should be our refuge because regardless of what happens when we are in him when he is our foundation there is absolute security so that's why security is from the lord the second thing that i realized is strength is from the lord look at the passage it says, God is our refuge and strength. When you say strength, that word means might or power. And it pertains to the omnipotence of God. Meaning to say, His power is limitless. You see, in our own strength, we, we all know that our own strength is limited. There are times we tend to give up. There are times that we're so weak. There are times that we just want to quit. Especially in what's going on right now. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I've been a Christian for a long time. I know these passages, these verses. But there are moments that I'm scared, especially with what's going on, because it's outside my control. I don't know what's going to happen. I have, I have a family. I have three kids. And I, I cannot protect them completely, fully, because I don't see the problem. I don't see where the virus is. I don't see how we, I can protect them securely or, or perfectly. I, I don't know how to do that. My strength is limited. I'm weak. There are things that I cannot carry on my own. There are problems even at work, even in, 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 different, uh, in different situations. There are problems that are just beyond me. That's why knowing that He's my strength, I am rest assured that I can go to Him anytime, that He can give me the strength when I'm weak, that He can carry the burden with me as I go on with life. That's what it means when we say, God is our strength. That's why strength is from the Lord. That when there are times you're about to give up, that when there are times that everything is falling apart, you can just go directly to Him. And He will strengthen you. And He will lift you up. He will give you people to encourage you. And I don't know what's going on in your life right now. Maybe you have a family member who is sick with this virus. Or you yourself, you're sick. I'm not saying that, uh, of course, I want you to get healed. Um, I'm praying that you get healed, but I don't know what's going to happen. But regardless of what happens, God can be your strength. Regardless of what happens, God can be your security. That's why first, security is from the Lord. Second, 
Strength is from the Lord. And that's why number three, seek the Lord with all your heart. That's our responsibility to seek Him. Look at what the passage says. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Or in other translation, it says, abundantly available for help. In other words, I can go to God anytime. He's just waiting. He wants to be our refuge. He wants to be our strength. He wants to help us. That's why my part, your part, is to seek Him with all of our heart. Seeking the Lord with all of our heart shouldn't be dependent on circumstances. It should be dependent on how much we long for Him. Why do I say that? Because sometimes we only seek God when we are in desperate need. And I believe one of the reasons why God is allowing this to happen is to wake us up. Because sometimes this is the only way for us to kneel down, for us to really beg God for help, for healing, for comfort. And when everything is okay, we tend to put God on the side. I hope that's not going to be the case. Of course, I pray that this coronavirus will be solved, there will be a vaccine, there will be a cure, that the lockdown will stop, that everything will be back to normal. But my prayer is that when everything goes back to normal, we will still seek God with all of our heart because that's what He wants. Because here's the thing, we might say that, yeah, I know how to live my life on my own, I know how to run my business on my own, I know how to do this, 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 or that. Yes, we can say that, but we cannot save ourselves. Only God can do that. We cannot give ourselves eternal life. Only God can do that. We cannot forgive our sins. Only God can do that. There are things beyond our control, just like what's happening right now. That's why I pray that through this situation, this crisis, we will see that we need God as our refuge, that we have God as our strength, and that as a result of that, we will seek Him with all of our hearts. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to pray. In the next few minutes, uh, I invite you to join us as we pray, as we lift our concerns to our God. So why don't we do that right now? Why don't we bow our heads, close our eyes, and let's just lift up our concerns to the Lord. First of all, I want to guide you as you pray. First, let's declare that God is our refuge, our strength, our ever-present help in times of trouble. So I want you to say something like this to the Lord. You can say to Jesus, Jesus, you are my refuge. Thank you that in you there is absolute security. Thank you that you are our stronghold, our fortress, that in you we are protected. Jesus, we also want to thank you that you are our strength. That when our, there are times we're about to give up, there are times that we are so weak, we are so frail, we can go to you anytime. And you will give us strength. You will give us encouragement. You will lift us up. And Jesus, we also want to thank you because you're always available. You're there. You want to help us. You want to guide us. And teach us, Lord, to seek you with all of our hearts. Right now, I want to give you maybe a few seconds, 30 seconds to a minute, to pray to God and maybe confess if there's any sin in your heart that you haven't confessed to the Lord. If there's anything that's not right between you and God, why don't you just talk to Jesus right now? Ask Him for, your, for forgiveness. Ask Him to cleanse your heart. Ask Him to remove any doubts, any fears, any worries in your mind. And ask God to just purify your heart and give you a right heart today. Why don't you do that? Lord, thank you that you are the God who forgives. 
Thank you that you know who we are. You know what's going on in our hearts. And thank you that when we confess our sins to you, you are gracious and merciful to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all our, our unrighteousness. Thank you for your amazing love. And Lord, with one heart, we lift up to you our country. And of course, we lift up to you our world. You know what's going on, Jesus. You know the problems of every family right now that's listening. You know those people who are sick. You know if some of their family members are sick as well. And that's why we lift up to you those people. We pray, Lord God, for healing for those who are currently uh, in inflicted with this virus. We pray that you strengthen their immune system, that you strengthen their bodies, that you would allow their bodies to fight this virus. We also want to lift up to you the frontliners. We pray, Lord God, for the doctors, for the nurses, for those in the hospitals that are helping out, for the military, for the police, the security guards, for those that are selling the, the food in the groceries, for those who are delivering food, Lord, they are, they are vulnerable because of this virus, because they're outside there. We even lift up to you the media, who's also outside there, uh, getting all the news and checking out what's happening all around. Lord, we just pray for your protection to be upon them. We pray that you, again, also boost their immune system, that they won't get the virus. We pray also, Lord Jesus, for the businessmen, whether small businesses or big businesses. Lord, our economy is going to get affected not just here in this country but all over the world the stocks are down a lot of businesses are about to close and we just pray lord that you provide uh, finances and and even support for these businesses we even pray for wisdom how they will continue the business once everything back, gets back to normal we pray also lord jesus that all of us lord will will help out each other especially during this time of crisis we pray for the daily wage earners that, of course, during this time, they cannot receive salary. They can't receive their wage because they cannot work. We just pray that you provide for them and their family as well. And we pray also that you protect them from this sickness, from this virus. Lord, we also want to lift up to you the doctors, the scientists that are trying to figure out the, the vaccine or God willing the cure for this. Or they say it takes 12 to 18 months before this can be used. Lord, we just pray that you give them wisdom so that this vaccine will be able to develop, will be developed, and that they'll be able to roll it out as soon as possible. And of course, we pray for a cure. Lord, we believe you are the source of healing. You are the one who cures. And that's why we depend on you. But we also believe that you have given wisdom to these doctors and scientists. So that they know, so that they can somehow do something about this. So Lord, we pray that you grant them the strength and the wisdom to be able to develop this cure or vaccine. And Lord, we pray for your people. We pray that we will take this opportunity to preach the gospel, to tell many more people about you, to encourage, show the love that you want us to show. Not just when everything is okay, but most importantly, when times are, are, are des when, we, when people are desperate, when we are in need, when there's so much problems out there, Lord, I pray that you use us to be the salt, the light that you want us to be so that more and more people will be blessed. Lord, again, we thank you for how you're going to minister to each and every one of us through this intercede daily, for how you're going to answer our prayers. We also want to thank you for that. And Lord, I lift up to you those who are listening right now, their families, uh, their friends, whatever's going on in their lives. Lord, I pray that you remind all of us that indeed there is absolute security in you. That you remind all of us that we can get strength from you. And that you remind all of us that we can go to you anytime. And that we should seek you with all of our heart because you care and you want to help us. Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Now, before we end, um, I hope that you can take this time also after this video to, you know, have some breakout time with your family. I have two questions for you that you can ask 
one another, to reflect on the message, and hopefully to encourage one another. First is, what's the source of your insecurity? Or what makes you insecure? So maybe you can think about that on your own, or as a family, you can discuss that and share what's the source of your security. And second, how can you seek God consistently? or more consistently. Not just during this season, but even after everything get, gets back to normal. How can you grow in seeking God more consistently? So those are the two questions. I hope you'll take time to reflect on that and to discuss that with your family. Again, may God bless you. May God protect all of us. And again, God bless you all.